Good afternoon, LHS, and welcome back to another edition of Blue Devil News. I'm Olivia. And I'm Scott. Today's news is full of important information, so make sure to pay attention. For all of you that have never experienced Senior Takeover Day, this is how it goes. If you're a senior willing to participate, you'll need to go to the teacher of your choice and pick up a pink slip. Senior Takeover Day will be on May 10th. However, you do not have to take over a class. It is completely optional. We recommend that you meet with the teacher beforehand and plan out the class. Textbook return will be from May 10th through the 15th. If you have a textbook checked out, bring it to school on or before May 10th. If you do not turn them in, you will not be able to get your schedule for next school year or log into Skyward. Seniors, you have to have these turned in in order to graduate. The last day to order a yearbook will be May 11th. Yearbooks will be distributed on May 15th. Make sure you order one ASAP. You don't want to miss this distribution day party. Seniors, listen up. We have many exciting things taking place, and here is your timeline. First, make sure you complete your senior information sheet as soon as possible. This information is used for final transcripts and honors assembly. If you don't get a sheet in class, stop by the guidance office between classes. The senior breakfast and senior award ceremony will be this Friday, May 4th at 8 a.m. This is your time to dress up in your Sunday best and enjoy being catered to. Those being recognized for an award will be notified so that they and their families uh, will stay for the assembly around 9. All seniors don't have to stay. They may leave after the breakfast. May 11th is Tassel Hassel at 8 a.m. Caps and gowns will be distributed along with details about graduation. Afterwards, you'll have the Moving On Up pep rally and field day for seniors. If you owe anything to the school, including a senior fee, you will not receive the cap and gown, so be sure to get your affairs in order. Tassels for Honor Distinction and Honors in Distinction will be available to purchase for $11 from Ms. Boyd. If you are not exempt, your final exams will be May 16th. Now, the time we have all worked so hard for is finally upon us. It's graduation. You know, we're almost to graduation, but we still have some work to do. So let's go to Mr. Wilson with further information on AP testing. Good afternoon, ladies and gents. My name is Mr. Jeremy Wilson. I know many of you through my classes, but for those of you who I haven't met yet, hi. I hope that you're doing well on this fine, whatever day this is afternoon. I realize that some of us are still reeling from the emotional trauma of Infinity War. Cut it, cut it, cut it. Apologies for the technical difficulties, ladies and gents. Uh, anyway, I come to you with some very important announcements. AP exams begin next week. And, ladies and gents, I know that for my AP students who I had last semester, this may come as a bit of a surprise. So, I just wanted to bring you a few updates regarding the AP schedule and give you some Mr. Wilson's quick tips for passing the AP exams. First off, ladies and gents, and let me be very, very clear here. Zoom in on my face. <laughs> if you don't pass, if you don't study, you don't pass. Period. So study. Study! And begin studying early. 20, 30 minutes a day is significantly better than eight hours the day before. Also, I will note, ladies and gents, do not study the day before the exam. Don't do it. By then it's too late. By then, whatever you've studied, whatever knowledge you have, has seeped into your brain and anything else is just going to go out. So, get a good sleep, go have some fun with your friends, go see Infinity War again if you're ready, and yes. So, ladies and gents, I have some announcements for you. The AP Chemistry exam will be on Monday, May the 7th at 8 a.m. Be there. The AP Psychology exam will be on Monday, May the 7th at 12 noon. Be there. The AP Physics exam will be on Tuesday, May 8th at 12 noon, be there. The AP Literature and Composition exam, that's Senior English, will be on Wednesday, May 9th at 8 a.m. If you are one of Miss Murray's students, check her remind frequently for review information. If you are one of Mr. Wilkins' students, he has review every day after school in his room. AP US Gov is on Thursday, May 10th at 8 a.m. Mr. Atwood will be reviewing on Wednesdays after school, and he also has review materials on his Google Classroom. 
The AP Environmental Science exam will be on Thursday, May 10th at 12 noon. Be there. The AP US History exam will be on Friday, May 11th at 8 a.m. A push camp is this Saturday, May 5th at the school from 9 to 3. Be there. Uh, and I have review materials. Come see me or else. The AP Bio exam is Monday, May 14th at 8 a.m. Be there. The AP Calculus exam is Tuesday, May 15th at 8 a.m. Students with Calculus AB last semester can get a review packet from Ms. Pack. Oh, that's kind of funny. Her name is Pack, and she's got a packet. <laughs> uh, she also has after-school review sessions. The AP Language exam is Wednesday, May 16th, 8 a.m. That's the junior AP English. Be there. <laughs> Breaking news! Uh, Miss Mosley has told me that AP English 3 students can come by her room to sign up for an AP review packet by this Friday. They will be ready on Tuesday, and she will be available for afternoon review on Mondays and Tuesdays. The AP Macroeconomics exam is Wednesday, May 16th at 12 noon. The AP Comparative Government exam is Thursday, May 17th at 8 a.m. I will have review in my room after school on May 14th, 15th, and 16th. Those are the three days before the exam. The AP World History exam will be on May 17th at 8 a.m. The AP Statistics exam will be on Thursday, May 17th at 12 noon. The AP Human Geography exam will be on Friday. May 18th at 8 a.m. Mr. Crawley will be having review after school in his room from 2.30 to 3.15 on Tuesdays and 30s, Thursdays starting this Thursday. AP Microeconomics exam will be on Friday, May 18th at 8 a.m. And finally, and most importantly, the AP European History exam will be on Friday, May 18th at 12 noon. Review Saturday, May 12th from 9 to 3. Finally, ladies and gents, Remember, your AP exam fee, the full $94, is due the day of your exam. Take that to guidance, take it to your teacher. You should have already paid the $20 fee or $20 deposit, so the balance is due the day of your exam. If you are on free and reduced lunch, all you pay is the deposit. AP exams makes you smart. Do it! Other than the AP students who test, graduation practice will be May 18th at 10 a.m. and is mandatory for all students. You will need to be seated by 9.45 for practice. As you know, graduation is May 19th and will be on the LHS football field. It begins at 10 a.m. and seniors need to be in place no later than 9.30 that morning. Ms. Bunch would like to invite students to check out her biotech class for next year. As you may or may not know, LHS is the first school in the state to have our very own biotech lab. All right, my name is Daniel Calderon, and I'm involved in the biotech program, and it's a really great class. I enjoy it. We get to do stuff that you can do in actual labs, like in Vanderbilt. Miss Bunch is a great teacher. She's a good mentor. She teaches us really cool things. She teaches us what we need for college to prepare us for engineering, what we want to do when we grow up. So I highly recommend this class if you want to be involved in engineering when you grow up. Hi, my name is Allison Collins and I am in a biotech class in Lebanon High School. And Ms. Bunch came to me when I was in chemistry class and she introduced me to biotechnology and I had no interest in it, but I went ahead and joined, and it really changed my interest, and I'm really excited about science now. Uh, we get to do a bunch of lab work, and uh, my mother and grandmother was into lab, and now I want to go in their path, so I'm really excited about it. Hi, my name is Josh Fuller, and I'm in the biotech program that is taught by Miss Bunch. Now in this class, we do some very interesting things, like we get to stain bacteria, do gram stains, and learn how we basically manipulate DNA and how it works. Now, in this program, we don't just sit in a classroom and sit in the desk like we used to do. We
we get to actually get hands-on experience in labs like we do in colleges, like in Vanderbilt. And actually we do more things in Vanderbilt here than we do in actual college. And this class is a really good opportunity to build in this area and I highly recommend it. Hi, my name is Brianna Cummins and I'm part of the biotech program at Leavitt High School. Uh, a big part of the reason I joined this is because around the time that it was introduced to me in my freshman year, I was developing a real love for science and coming to this class to strengthen it. We get to do real lab work, we get to work with bacteria, we do awesome things like do gram stains and grow bacteria on a plate. It's an exciting opportunity and it opens so many more after high school when you take this program. That's why I love being part of it. Uh, my name is um, North Hoppe. I joined this biotech program not because I was initially very interested, but because I, I mean, I've always been interested in the sciences, and I was just waiting for a class that could, we could do more lab work, because I was tired of just doing stuff on paper, which is why this class excited me so much. But once I actually started doing lab work, I discovered a real interest in the field of biotechnology, and now I changed, wanted to go into college for biochemistry. And really what I love about this class is just, again, like I um, said why I joined it was, Instead of just like we do some stuff on paper, but like the majority of some of the class time, we're actually doing real stuff, like what feels like real science, and you can just see the stuff instead of having to visualize it hypothetically. And like so, stuff on it is interesting, but like being able to see it as opposed to just reading about it is like a huge difference for me, and why I think this is just a great class. Make sure you look at signing up for this awesome class next school year. Student Council is having a party at Pro Bowl West from 5 to 7. This Friday for all Student Council members, we would love to see you there. Juniors planning to take dual enrollment next year need to complete a paper application for Cumberland in the guidance office. We have extended the deadline to next Monday, May 7th. Now for sports news. Congratulations to tennis players Giovanni Santos, Caleb Jasper, and Tyler Garvin for advancing to the District 9 Large Individual Tournament semifinals, which will be held today at Drake's Creek Park. Next Monday, the first round of softball district tournaments will be played at LHS. The time and opponent will be decided later. Two hours later. Dance team tryouts are Thursday, May 3rd. And for all you bookworms, the book festival is this Friday. If you bring a book, you get a book for free. English and history classes will be attending, but if you would like to come, make sure to contact Miss Murray by Thursday. Please submit your books or questions to Miss Murray's room B106. The annual LHS Art Show opening is this Friday, May 4th, from 6 to 7 p.m. Come out and support your Blue Devil artist. The show will be up until Sunday, May 6th. Any art club student wishing to submit artwork for judgment and possible inclusion in the show needs to submit their work to Miss Upshur by Wednesday at 2.20 p.m. The final Blue Devil Boutique will be Wednesday, May 9th in front of the cafeteria during all lunches. Please be sure to bring cash to purchase some great deals on clothing, shoes, and accessories. That's all for today's news. I'm Scott. And I'm Olivia. This has been news to you from the White and Blue. Have a great day, LHS. Next Monday is the first round of the Softball District Tournament Ship. <laughs> <Tournament. laughs> okay. Next Monday, the first round of the Softball District Tournament. Ah. <coughs> Sorry. All right. Okay. Okay. No, right. Third round. Yeah. Just a little hiccup here and there.